Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 Test Taking Weekend Warriors. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. Uh, I think this gets me current. Uh, this is QID 128-2860. Kaplan will help you with any question from any test prep vendor. Uh, it's just easy if it's Kaplan because you just give me the QID and I can bring it up uh, backstage for you. If you don't have a Kaplan QBank or a Kaplan Quick Sheets, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. The uh, Guru 10 discount code is available. That's 10% at checkout. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on uh, Kaplan content. Uh, the Kaplan QBank is by far and away the uh, best QBank on the street. All right. A corporation wishes to raise additional capital by making the use of a rights offering. I would prefer you know, that they get into that, but it's very important for you to know as a test taker that your existing shareholders have the first right of refusal on the issuance of new shares. That's called their preemptive right, the right to maintain proportionate ownership. So we're going to first go to our existing shareholders. They're the most likely candidates to provide us additional equity financing anyways, because they're already in the hot water with us. And we have to do that to uh, give them this first right of refusal. Okay, so my client owns 200 shares of the issuing corporation's common stock and 100 shares of the preferred. There is no such thing as a preemptive right as it relates to preferred stock. It's about maintaining your proportion ownership of the common stock. So that 100 shares is a distractor. It has nothing to do with answering the question. Uh, the terms of the offering of the four rights will be necessary to purchase one new share at a subscription price of 20. The current market price is 24. How many rights will your client receive? So I think the test taker who requested this probably tried to do something you weren't asked. As many shares as you have, that's how many rights you have. So in this example, the answer is 200 rights. Now it takes 200 rights, uh, you know, is what you have, and then it takes four to buy an additional share. So the answer is 200 rights. But since we have this, Let's talk about, uh, you know, uh, further explication of the question. And so maybe this test taker thought they were being asked, what is the theoretical value of the right? And here, if that's not the question, the answer is 200 rights. But the theoretical value to be able to buy the stock at 20 when it's trading at 24, that is worth $4 to be able to do that. And as it says here, it takes four rights to be able to do that. Now, now it, currently the stock is trading coom rights. So we're gonna add one, it's, the rights aren't as valuable when they're trading with the stock. Once they go X, uh, you know, they're, they're gonna be more valuable. But this is uh, right now, they're not trading. You know, a good way to remember what can happen to any derivative rights, warrants, uh, options is T. They can be traded, T, T is for traded. They can be exercised, E is for exercise. They can expire worthless. That's the third E, so T. So here uh, I do the math and I find out that this uh, is worth 80 cents. Now, so if you don't want to subscribe, you don't have to subscribe. Very testable to know the subscription price rights at issuance are the exercise price is below the current market price and it's short term because the issuer needs the money and they need it now. So I'm thinking maybe the test taker was trying to do some math that they didn't need to do. Once these rights are trading X based on the same market price, subscription price, uh, they would be worth a dollar. Now we say theoretically, because they're only worth what someone else is willing to pay. But anyway, so we said here, the answer is 200 rights. Now, uh, if my customer wants to subscribe, so my customer wants to maintain their proportion ownership, we'd say, okay, well you have 200 rights because as many shares as you have, that's how many rights you have. You have a thousand shares, you have a thousand rights. It takes four rights to get an additional share. So my client would have the opportunity if he wants to subscribe or exercise to buy 50 shares at the subscription price of 20. If he wants to do that, we'll send his check for $1,000, 50 shares times 20, and his 200 rights to the rights or transfer agent, and he will have maintained his proportionate ownership. Now, he doesn't have to do that if he doesn't want to. Once they're trading X, we could sell this to someone else. Okay, so remember, inch by inch, your Series 7's Ascents, yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard, and I will uh, see you for the next explication request. I am current, so maybe a break for a while. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.